everyone, if this is Opster Gaming here today, and in this video, we're going to be going over mentions on Discord embeds. Now, there's a few key things to mention. This isn't the easiest thing in the world to do, but it's not the hardest either. So, how do you ping a user? So you do that, and then you put the at, and then you've actually got to copy the ID. So if I right click there and I copy ID, then you paste the ID in now, I've already done it. Now pick the channel that you want to post in, I want to post in the global chat. So let's press post there, and you see it pings. Now if I want to ping a user's nickname instead of their actual ID, we can do the exact same thing, only we can put an exclamation mark there and do it like that. So that'll ping my nickname now. Yes, it does. If you want to ping a channel, you've got to pick the channel you want to ping. So let's copy ID of video, new videos. Now let's go like that. Let's put the hashtag there. Let's put the channel ID in. Let's just off like that. Post it, and you can see that we pinged the channel. Now, if you want to ping a role, this way it gets slightly more difficult, but not really. So you do at and and there. You set the settings, go to the wall, and as you go ping myself, let's copy the ID. And so that, and let's close off. You post it, and there you go. You can see that we've got ops to game on YouTube. Um, the next thing I'm going to cover is how to do an emoji on an embed. So you do colon and then you get the name of one you want to post. I think it was XX7 and let's just go check. My advice is always to go check anyway. Even if you're sure that you know it. Because you don't want to be having to redo the embed. Especially if you've refreshed your page after and lost it. So always check it. XX6. So there you go. I would have been wrong. That's exactly my point. So now if I post it. You see that we got the emoji there. Now there's two more ones here, and which are slightly, slightly more difficult. I haven't actually done these ones before, so this will be a little bit more hard. But if you go to server settings, you go to emojis. Now we need to get the emoji IDs. How do we get the emoji IDs? Well, that's a very good question because I'm not quite sure myself on how to get them. I'm imagining that that is the ID, but I can't see it in it. Let's just go to, yeah, let's go to there. And even if this doesn't work, I'm going to show you the basic of how you're supposed to do this. So you do it like that, and then you do the colon, and then do the name, colon, ID, like that. That's how it's supposed to be. So now if we do it similar to that, and you press in the name there. Colon ID like that. I don't think this will work. No, it doesn't. If I remove the ID from it, will it work? Still doesn't work. All right. Um, let's just change it to XX6 in case it doesn't exist. No. All right. So that doesn't work. But that is how you do it. Um. If you do figure out how to copy the ID of an emoji on your server, do make sure to let me know because I haven't actually done that before. I'm also going to show you guys how to do a custom animated emoji, which is pretty much the same, only you put a little A in front. So you do it like that. Then you do a name, ID, like that. So you do it like that, you would. Uh, so if I now go and get my animated emojis on the server, let's look an animated one, that's one. So 10, alright, you can see where I downloaded that one. So now if you do a tenor, come on, and close it off, and it like that. And you can see it's actually posted about that. And so that has actually posted the emoji. So there you go, so that's how you post the custom animated one, but it's left stuff around it. In all fairness, if it was just me, I would actually just do it like that. 
that's how I do my emojis. No words. So all of these name ID and stuff, I wouldn't bother that. I would personally just do it normally like that. No. No, I can't use it here because that's on a different server. But you get what I mean. So they're the best ways to do mentions on Discord in my opinion. I think they're the ones which I've also shown you with the IDs do work if you actually get the emoji ID. But I recommend that you just do it like that. It's much easier, quicker and it's shorter. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. I'm actually going to can remove any that don't work here. I just so I can do one final post there. So, so let's literally just remove that one. Final. No. Hmm. Let's now go and remove that one. Let's remove that one. There you go. Man. Now, if we do one final post, there you go. So that's all of there. So that's all the mentions I'm going to cover for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that this is useful to some of you guys. You can also use this in just normal chat. So if we do XX6 like that, yeah, done. And if you want to do a mention or channel ID, um, it can be useful as well by private message. So if you go to a private message outside of a server and you want to mention a channel, you can actually mention it like this and it'll come up like that in private message as well which means they can directly just clip through to the server so that's very helpful so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and definitely hit that bell icon for more discord content and now peace out